must prepare, child, for the earth is bleeding. Stay away! This is no time for petty quarrels, my champion. I am not. But of course you are, son. As I had to kill Mary. I have known your pain, child. Do not succumb to Silence! The land calls for a champion. Silence! Tired of all these puppet shows. War. I'll show them war! Whatever this poor woman did, nobody deserves this kind of punishment. So this is where she lives. As good as one can be, considering the circumstances. Yes. Death and affliction seem prevailing themes of late. Please, come in. We have much to discuss. I hope I haven't disturbed you. Not at all. Actually, I was counting on you visiting me tonight. How strange, this painting. Beautiful, melancholic, yet with a haunting dignity. Indeed. A long time ago, a friend asked me to paint this for him. But I kept it in the end. I did not know you were a painter. There are many things you do not... Please, call me Jonathan. Please excuse my behavior, Jonathan. What is bothering you, my lady? You're... We will talk about this in a few minutes. For now, I would like you to tell me about yourself. How have you been since we last... My sister Mary. She was made a vampire in the same way I was. She was the one killing... All... Vengeance is a powerful force. In the end, she implored me to put an end to her misery. But still, I felt I had taken her life twice. Uh, there is no need to apologize, my lady. Thank you, my friend. If... I came to the conclusion that my maker, whoever he might be, must be a powerful vampire. So... How have you reached this... I felt this power 
Rick. Most ancestral vampires of England were killed by the guard of Prewen half a century ago. I wonder who your maker could be. You have no idea who he could be? Some of the ancient ones fled England. I think I should ask the question. Fair enough, Jonathan. The situation is critical. We do not have the luxury for etiquette. Please do not misunderstand me. I would be delighted if we survive the dark nights to come. I must say, your house is exquisite. One of the advantages of living forever is having the time to be selective with one's furnishings. I took the liberty of having tea served. You can still drink tea. Can't keep it down, but I do so enjoy the aroma. Let us toast to make believe, and of course to your health, Jonathan. And to yours, my lady. Please, call me Elizabeth. So, my lady, why truly did you invite me here? I've been asked to deliver an official invitation to meet the Ascalon Club. Who are they? They are the embodiment of vampire. How many are they? Only a small number of pow- They have done nothing but impede my- I guess they now see you as Ascalon material. I'm not sure I can accept their invitation. You have no choice, Jonathan. Even I would not openly defy Lord Redgrave, the chairman of the Ascalon Club. What can you tell me about- Lord Redgrave is the founder and chairman of- have you met him? Only on rare occasions, for he never goes outside the club. And women are not awarded membership. He... How old is he? Lord Redgrave claims... If you are convinced I must meet him, I will... Thank you, Jonathan. Is the situation that critical? Yes. You should flee, then. Leave. Your concern warms my heart, Jonathan. But fear not. If the situation gets too dangerous, I shall retreat to my secret Scottish manor. I could hide you in my luggage, if you wish. Thank you for the offer. I shall keep it in mind, but I have much to do here. There is a question I must ask you. Could Lord Redgrave be my maker? I doubt it. If Lord Redgrave had made you his progeny, he would not have seemed so surprised when you demonstrated the strength of your lineage. One day soon, I will... And I shall help you in your research. Will I see you again at the... No, you will find me here if you need me. I shall conduct inquiries alone, and we can then share our... I want to thank you. Could you do me a... I should be honored. Then it is settled. Fine. Th thank you. I appreciate the advice. I had best prepare myself to meet this Lord Redgrave now. How thrilling to meet the Earl of Bristol in the flesh, so to speak. Something tells me you're not very keen on the man. Don't get me wrong. The gentlemen of the Ascalon Club are honorable, but their attitude and opinions are somewhat antiquated. <laughs> I see. As long as they deny access to female applicants, I will leave them to their antediluvian considerations as to the natural order of things. Jonathan, promise me you'll be careful. Of course. But why the fear in your voice? Look at me, Jonathan. I am. I mean, really look at me, young Ekon. We may be deceptive by nature. But this heart of mine has always told the truth. Oh. Elizabeth.
but come back to me soon.